there are lots of deals happening right now. So you might be seeing a lot of things like 30% off and you might be thinking to yourself, I'm not really sure how to quickly calculate that. And maybe you don't want to pull out your phone to do that math. So I'm going to talk to you about how you can quickly find 30% off of 40, thinking flexibly about numbers and using things that you might already know. So when I think about $40, I know that I can quickly find 10% off of 40. That feels comfortable to me. I know that 10% off of 40 is... $4. So if something was 10% off, I would save $4. We have something that's 30% off. So if I have 30, I'm going to decompose it or break it down into groups of 10 so I can think a little bit more um, flexibly with this number and I can use what I know about my 10s to find 30%. So if I have 30% instead of 30, I have three groups of 10%. 10, 20, 30. So I know that 10% of 40 was $4. So I'm going to have my $4 here, $4 here, and $4 here. So now I have three groups of $4 to get four, eight, twelve dollars $12 off. So if something was 30% off, it would be $12 off. So then I would do 40 minus 12 to give me a new price of $28. Now, sometimes the percentages aren't just uh, a multiple of 10, and then we have to think a little bit differently. We use the same start, um, and still think flexibly, but let's say instead of 30%, I have 35%. So if I have 35%, I still can think back to that 30. I think, okay, I have my three groups of 10, but then I also have another 5% that I have to figure out. I could do the, th the same thing you might did, $4, $4, and $4 to get each of my 10%. And then now I have to think about 5%, okay? I know that 10% was $4, and I know that half of 10 is five. So I can think, okay, half of this four would be $2. So now I have my four, eight, $12, and then I have two more. So 35% would be $14 off. Happy shopping.